Jack always provides some big entertainment value. Jack still calling himself the injured defending champion <laughs> flick since he wasn't able to protect his event title last year. I got to hang out with you at the press conference as well. Uh, we'll watch some action and chat with Zach Webb throughout the matchup here as we've got Italo Ferreira, a world champion in 2019, just getting started against Jack Robinson. The goofy foot is finding a big section, comes down with a backhand hack and rides away. And th this is Italo's opening wave. So my initial thoughts here were that this was a bit soupy, a bit lots of whitewash on the face, a couple of few carving maneuvers here, but this turn I really liked that. That was really, really explosive. Just loaded to finish here as we see Jack replay. Big opening carve there, gouges through that first turn. Taking it easy here through the second, and he's looking to get a finish here on the inside. Just sort of weaving his way back through the inside there and gets the finish, so nice opener for Jack Robinson. Jack on his home break and main break, looking good, and whether he's at the box or laying down big turns on the open face. How about that one, Flick? Yeah, the, this opening maneuver from Jack was just beautiful to watch, just textbook and just really putting that board all on rail. A lot of points are going to come from that first turn there. Things get a little bit sleepier through the inside, but he really wants to get the finish here. So he's just sort of navigating this slower section in the wave. You can see him sort of already lining up that inside. So they're just like transitional turns here as he makes his way through to this last turn there, gets a bit of release on the fin. And yeah, easy work for Jack Robbo. You know, getting him confused with Geordie just because of his style. It's just the biggest compliment. He's surfing so good as we get back to live action. Italo already moving off the top into the open face. Had a 6.0 on the wave with a lot of soup on it. Now he's got a little bit more clear water until the wild end section where he runs out of room onto the bricks. He recover from it there without priority, just up and out. Jake Marshall. Change of equipment and pulled it under the hood on the oh. takeoff. That's got to be Jack Robinson. The local boy <laughs> can find barrels no matter where he is on this coastline or across this planet. And there's something about getting barreled at main break that is such a beautiful surprise. All about great positioning and Jack still enjoying the elation <laughs> of going inside the wave here at Surfers Point with this area, with this region, and, and awareness in the barrel. I mean, that was so technical. He basically took off straight up underneath the lip, into that barrel, threaded it beautifully. It, it didn't look hard for him. It just looks easy. He's here just like toying with this inside section. He obviously wants the finish. A little bit whitewashed to contend with there. Nice fin blow there at the end, but then let's get another look at this. Just so late underneath the lip makes it look super easy it's just another day in his backyard and uh top five contender and it's been awesome to watch as we see jack robbo up jack in the non-priority heat coming through with a beautiful wrapping cut back on that arakawa attacking the lip off the top he enjoyed that one eight six in the barrel to wrap things up to see who'll be competing in the complete season as we catch up with more surfing from Jack Robinson Flick. Yeah, this was Jack's uh, last wave before we went to break and two beautiful time turns here. Goes up into this big carving manoeuvre, which he just does so well. That Eric Arakawa looking so good under his feet right now. And I just love that he has that flexibility to jump between the sharp eyes to the Arakawas. You know that he was riding these boards at sunset as well. But just that turn right there, it's just coming down with all that power. It's so explosive. But yeah, Jack just displaying so much core strength, holding on to that and uh, getting a decent backup. Live action now with Jack Robinson throwing his first turn off the lip, tags the lip line again. Nice patience into the open face oh. and blows the tail to try to switch gears. That's really Gets awkward. caught for that one kind of psych myself out with priority so I don't know for me that heat it just worked out to where I was under priority and I kind of just had no other option but to go and sometimes that's all you need so um, yeah it was like first 20 minutes of the heat I only had a three so I, I had nothing to lose at that point. <laughs>
succession. I think it's going to be a great score. Now backhand snap for Italo in the heat with Jack Robinson. Cool. And sliding out and going over the falls a little. Off tempo there for Italo. Jack Robinson as we see what happened here. Yeah, this, this wave from Italo, just that perfect big opening maneuver straight up into a second one. Things get a little bit funky here on the inside. Times that third one well, but goes up for that last turn and this end section just gets the better of him. It, this turn here, just that nose sort of picks and this, there's a lot going on here on the end. It kind of looks like he almost lands on his board. At, oh, that's not going to tickle if that was the case. Best wave that you could take off out of here today as we I'll get back to that in a second as we see Italo. Italo live with some foam on the face. Hit a little bobble there, but cleans it up with a backhand snap. There's decisions and also the last of Italo here, Flick. Yeah, this one was real soupy. I, I obviously, he's in this non, he's in this non-priority heat. Wow, okay. It will be Jack Robinson going 3-1 all time over Italo. And he's moving into the quarterfinals. <laughs> Italo throwing the tail out and still riding away. He will start preparing for Tahiti, the next stop of the championship tour. And Jack looking for another win.